Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode, we're going to be reviewing it. It was titled Gold Faced, I do believe, and it was episode 13. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, just quickly before we get into this, Recently, as you could probably tell, there hasn't been as many videos and that's just due to I've been really busy and so I should be getting back on the videos but just give me like a week or so before I properly get back into it. I've just been super busy and it's been hard. And also, if you guys could share the video around, share the channel around because we hit 90,000 subscribers which is insane and I can't thank you guys enough. Share it around so we can try and get to 100,000. That would be incredible to get that tick sign and also to get the plaque and you know it just would be awesome anyway this episode of the flash i didn't really expect much i actually didn't review the i didn't do a trailer breakdown on this trailer from last week because there wasn't really much to break down and i didn't think it actually like i didn't think i could make a video on it if i'm totally honest so this episode i didn't really have any hype for but it was a pleasant surprise i really did like most of this episode although there was a few things that i was not so hot on there was a lot of things that i really did like and let's talk about it all in this video so okay let's start off the opening scene we get to see nora actually spying on sherlock as Sh nora for the first time finds out sherlock is researching into her diary and the fact that she can see that there's two handwritings and that Sherlock actually knows Nora is actually working with an accomplice and he's like who is your accomplice talking to himself and so Nora finds this out and she goes straight to Thorn she goes straight to 2049 and reverse slash calms Nora down and their plans are finally revealed and so the reason why Nora's back and why they're working together is to stop Cicada and so this is finally revealed. We haven't been told the true meaning behind their sort of teaming up, but it's basically to stop Cicada. So I'm guessing it's going to change the timeline so Barry can exist in the future and, you know, Nora can grow up with her father. But that's the first time we've heard that, that those two are working together in order to stop Cicada. And the fact that they know about the timeline and how to just slightly change it. it just proves that how dangerous Nora is right now with what she's trying to achieve and she can basically manipulate the timeline in any way she wants and that's what she's writing in her diary when it said the timeline is malleable so they can slowly manipulate things in order to change them for the better for them. Nora is extremely scared as she reveals in this first scene that Barry is going to find out about her working with Thorn himself and yeah that's a true reality. If Barry and Iris and anyone really finds out that Nora is working with Thorn and she has an accomplice and that she's doing this stuff with, you know, other intent without telling them, they're gonna flip shit. They're gonna be mad and it's not gonna end out well for her because that suspicion will all be on her and they won't trust her anymore. And so Reverse Flash goes on to say, I can fix this. And so Nora will nudge Sherlock away from the truth, from his research, from his detective work, into finding out who Nora is actually working with. So for the meantime, you know, he's not going to be thinking about that, but he will eventually get back to it, and we'll talk about that just in a minute. Okay, so let's talk about Iris. So Iris was really good in this episode. There were some really tense scenes with her and Cicada as she is starting this new job, and she actually finds out from a co-worker where Orl and Dwyer actually used to work and he reveals that there was once a failure in the payment and it went to a cousin's house and that is where Iris goes and later in the episode we get to see Iris inside that house and Cicada returns home and honestly it was really tense I really like these scenes and I felt like Iris was you know a massive standout in this episode. I thought she was much better and so she's caught and she comes up with a fake backstory as to why she's here. She says the door's open and she wants an interview with the homeowner of this place which is obviously Cicada's brother so it's not really him but he pretends to be him and so they do the interview and it's near the end of the episode and when she's about to leave she picks up her bag sillily and he realizes oh shit she was here before and then we get the scene where Cicada 
chases Iris around the house and is about to literally kill her and luckily Iris is able to grab a knife and she stabs him. So some people might be like, oh why is Iris, why can Iris do that when, you know, the Flash and everyone can't stop him? But the thing is, he wasn't prepared and she literally had a knife in her hand and she just did it quicker. That's the simple fact of it. That's the same as, say, you know, if it was you actually being Iris and you had a serial killer trying to kill you, right? If you are lucky enough, you can stab them quicker if you have a knife, which I don't recommend you do, but it's a simple fact of timing and I don't have a problem with that. I thought it was a really nice way to end it, although maybe it would have been a nice cliffhanger for the end of the episode, but I really liked it. I didn't have any problem with Iris actually stabbing him because she still got away and he got away and it just made sense really because they weren't going to kill Iris and so I didn't have any problems with that. I've heard some people online who've had a bit of a problem with that, but I think it makes sense. And so, let's talk about Nora and Sherlock. So, in this episode, like I mentioned at the start, Nora is actually trying to persuade Sherlock to, you know, lose his track and his focus from investigating her. And so, we get this really nice continued sort of dialogue between Nora and Reverse Flash in the future that keeps on flashing forward in the episode as Nora is doing this and I really love this scene, probably my favourite scene in the episode when Nora is placing things because the timeline is malleable as Thorne says and he instructs her in how to just specifically change it so that Sherlock bumps into this woman and, she, and he saves her and as it's revealed later in the episode it's a doppelganger of his love from tons of Earths. And so Nora is slowly changing things trying to do this and that and so presumably from this we can tell that he's been doing he's been instructing her this whole time with those little changes that she's been doing along in order to stop Cicada although it's taking quite a long time she's placing all these different individual elements and I just really loved that scene I thought it was really good and so he must lose focus on Nora and he does later in the episode which we'll get to in a second but at first he reveals like too much information and she thinks that being Renee his wife from billions of other earths to be a stalker she thinks he's a stalker but he reveals later in the episode when they meet up again that he's a detective and you know they're gonna be meeting up again and that's nice because I liked her quite a bit and the one part of the episode I wasn't too hot on was when she actually appeared, but it was like all his ex-wives. It was a bit like the Council of Worlds, and I just didn't really like that scene all too much. So that's just me, but I liked her when she was just with Sherlock by herself in CC Jitters. I thought that was a nice couple of scenes. And so, as we go on, we get to see there is a reference to Superman in that scene that I just mentioned. And so Superman helps Sherlock on this other earth. So does this mean Superman is confirmed to exist in different versions of himself? So there's a doppelganger of Superman on another earth because we haven't seen that yet. We've seen a doppelganger for Supergirl in that being Overgirl, but we haven't seen that for Superman. The only thing we've seen for Superman was when in the crossover Dr. Destiny pretended to be him but that's not a true doppelganger so this seemingly confirms it and I hope in the crossover next year in Crisis on Infinite Earths we get a version of Superman that is a different version because if you know in the comics there is at least two versions of Superman that appears in Crisis so hopefully that is a reference to that and that sets that up. We go on and we see that by the end of the episode Sherlock sort of finds love again with his wife but he reveal but he finds out at the end of the episode that she is a meta and this is what's going to make him lose track of his investigation because he's now going to be investigating into Cicada in order to stop Cicada from eventually probably getting his new girlfriend of sorts that he's going to be trying to date or whatever's going to happen maybe they will become husband and wife again and it will fail again but yeah so that is what he's sort of lost his mind his his track of mind and his detective work so he's going to be focusing on that and we get a nice sort of circular ending with Nora actually coming out of the wall and smiling rather than you know frowning like she did at the start of the episode so I really appreciated that and I really liked it. The final thing before we talk about just the smaller parts of the episode mainly to do with Barry and Ralph we get as we go to the ending there is another flash forward to reverse flash saying if your mission is successful we will continue what we started and this is him saying this in the future 
and what they started was in order to try and stop Cicada, so that's going to be ramping up in the next few episodes, and I really do like these scenes between Nora and Reverse Flash because of how sort of mysterious it is and how it's behind everyone's backs and no one knows it right now, apart from Sherlock who will eventually find out I'm presuming, but for now, Nora is not going to be revealed to be working with Reverse Flash at least for the next like three or four episodes I'm guessing because Sherlock's going to be not focusing in on what's happening with Nora at least for the near future that we can tell and so I'm very intrigued to see what happens next okay so if we go back and we go into the episode and we see that Barry and Ralph are teaming up for this episode and I thought for the most part, they were really, really good together. I really did like that part of the episode. The only thing I wasn't so hot on was Goldface. I thought his acting was a bit, you know, dry and a bit cliche. But same thing goes for a lot of these metas of the week because they're not sort of full-time actors. They aren't really invested into these characters like our series regulars or our regular sort of guest appearances. I wasn't so hot on him, but I think that happens most weeks when we get these villains of the weeks. But it was really interesting to see them team up, and there was a gunfight later in the episode, which was incredible. I really liked it. It was sort of similar to that laser tag scene they did a while ago, but it really sort of reminded me of how Arrow shoots with the handheld camera and the fact that they were using slow-mo. I thought it was a really, really well shot scene and I really liked it. And so by the end of the episode, it's revealed Goldface is a meta and his face literally melts when he shoots like his gold chains into some sort of electrical device and he melts, but he's alive and they do it. So that part of the episode, I liked it because of Barry and Ralph working together. But like I said, Goldface, not so hot on. But this episode was really, really solid, and I really especially loved the Cicada and Iris stuff I thought was very tense. But specifically, my favourite part of the episode was Nora, Sherlock, and Reverse Flash, and everything that was going on with them in the episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.